Hello and welcome to the Viewpoint Gallery in the City of Red Deer Cultural Services Building. Today we're going to take you on a quick gallery tour virtually of the exhibit Scale with works by the members of the Red Deer Art Club. Join me. So the first work of the exhibition features a lovely waterfall. This piece is called Waterfall Mist and it's by artist Rita Rake. It was created this year, 2020, and it features acrylic media. Our next piece is the largest piece of art in the exhibition. It is a work called oops, Aspire to Scale, and it's an acrylic work by Marianne Harris, also created in 2020. This piece is four feet high and five feet across. The artworks included in the show Scale were meant to feature different items in our universe at different scales. This first piece on the screen is Rising Above, an acrylic piece by Jim Lynchbury. You can see that lovely balloon over the mesa. Next we close in on something a little more commonplace. This is all zipped up a watercolor piece by Kathleen Polson. And I apologize for the reflection in the view. It's very up close and personal denim and zipper. The next piece is Keys, another watercolor piece. This one is by Joan Clement, or Clement, I'm sorry. Here you can see an extreme close-up of the turn portion that you hold on to when you plug your keys into your door. It's a neat piece. You almost don't quite know what it is. It's so close up until you take a look closer and you see the key ring. We have the piece Sweet, another watercolor, this time by Sheila Wright, featuring sugar and weights, measuring in time for baking. Another idea of the uh, meaning of scale. Next, we have How Much Does a Lemon Weigh? This time, it's a watercolor on canvas by Susan Barker. Our next piece is also by Sue Barker. And this one is called Your Dinner is Served with your can of Budweiser and a little feline ready to jump up on the table. I don't know about you, but my cat doesn't stay in the chair <laughs> when dinner is served. Very cute. This piece here is by Philippe Gautier. It's called Pressure and it's an oil piece. Also created this year. Philip is new to Red Deer and new to the art club, but we're very excited to have him and his neat works. Our next piece is Weatherman, just like the uh, suitcase. An oil work by Philip Gautier as well, and you can just see that clasp. Thank you. 
This piece is called Fairy Dreams and it's by Kathleen Polson. It's a watercolor piece made in 2020 along with all the others. Again, you can see the little pixie and the mushrooms. Another example of the different scales that the artists were looking at throughout the year. This piece called Sunflower gets right up close and personal with the beautiful bud. This is a piece by Sandra Turner and it's another watercolor work. If we can change. There we go. Get the reflections out. And below here, we have the work The Dilemma, an acrylic piece by Jim Lynchbury on canvas. You can see our little dragonfly. And what is his dilemma? To sit or to fly? This work is called Canyon Light. It's a work in oils by Joan Clement. And this is another very large piece in the gallery. It's three feet by four feet. And I'm just gonna do some up close looking at it to enjoy the variegations in the red tones of this canyon. You can feel your smallness as you look up and see the large spikes of rock coming up to you. It's back up here. Try to give it its full view. It's a lovely work. Okay, I'm gonna move left here. Our next piece is Time Lost. This is another watercolor piece and it's by Sheila Wright. Sheila is a longtime member of the Red Deer Arts Council and one of our volunteers who hangs art uh, for our gallery. If anybody's interested in learning how to hang art, for a gallery space and would like to help volunteer with hanging art. Sheila is a great teacher. This is a watercolor piece again and also created in 2020. Next here down below is Full Moon, which is in watercolor and ink by Margaret Downing. Uh, this piece, you can see, you can maybe see the man in the moon, maybe not, but you can definitely see variegation on the train and the beautiful moonlit tree silhouetting in front of it. I quite like this piece in its monochromatic glory. This piece is from artist Carolyn Gilchrist. It is an acrylic piece entitled The Pearl. If we move in close, you can see the beautiful variegations of paint composing the oyster shell. And most importantly, 
the pearl. Below, we have the work Breaking Through, which is another acrylic piece by Brenda Dahl. This looks like it might be a poor technique style work, but no guarantees, because I'm not the artist. But I do like the colors. Teal is a favorite of me, your tour guide, Suzanne Hermery, coordinator for the Red Deer Arts Council. Quite fun. And here's another larger piece. This is Stories Told in G Dreams. And this is an oil work from Carolyn Gilchrist. Let's pull back and get the full view again. This one's a bit of a dream sequence almost. It's a lovely piece. We've got some goldfishes, a meditator, the earth, and a paper crane. Symbolizing peace. Stories told in dreams. We also have the peace symbol on the shirt. I think this is a very beautiful and apropos piece. This piece is Time to Blossom, an acrylic work by Marianne Harris. That's quite a lovely work. We've got some large scale flowers. And a very wide variety of colors coming through the leaves and the petals. This one will be my mother's favorite. She has quite the uh, preference for calla lilies. This is a piece called Callas, if you please. It's a watercolor work by Heidi Taylor. And I'm going to try and get a better view that doesn't have so much reflection in it. All I can say is, if you don't like looking at it with the glass reflected, maybe come down to the gallery. It is open every day from now until December 18th from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the Viewpoint Gallery, which is 5205 48th Avenue in downtown Red Deer. Do come through see all these works. There's 21 artists represented in the works on display here today. And while we are not able to have our regular first Friday due to COVID-19 regulations, we're very pleased to bring you this little virtual tour and give you a chance to see some of the works up closer, but not totally too close. <laughs> My apologies to any of the artists whose name I may have misspelt or pronounced and to anyone that I guessed something wrong here. 
we do hope that you have a lovely experience a very happy holiday season and let's all be safe warm and well so that next year when we're reconvening together around the table we're all back here together like a virtual reality tour except my, that's much cooler than I can offer you <laughs> I would like to thank board member Haiti Panameno for offering us the use of her camera and microphone today uh, again my name is Suzanne Hermery I am coordinator for the Red Deer Arts Council thank you so much for joining us during this virtual tour of the Red Deer Art Club's exhibition scale at the Viewpoint Gallery in downtown Red Deer. Have a great day.